it's so lovely to have your company here on Ideal World. My name's Denise, and this hour is about the holiday of a lifetime. Now, I know the holiday of a lifetime is different for every single family, every single person, but we've got something for every single family and every single person as well. So much variation for you. We have got must-have, once-in-a-lifetime holidays coming up for you. And we've got some very special offers as well, incredibly special offers. Um, first of all, I just want to make sure that you stay with us till the end because I promise you this is going to be an amazing hour from the award-winning Planet Cruise Holidays. Let me introduce you to cruise specialist from Planet Cruise, Glenn, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. Never How are a you? chore. Sean's changed again. I know, Sean's gone girly. <laughs> oh, well, well, no, actually. <laughs> no change there then. Shall we move on? <laughs> Right, so give us a, an overview of what's coming up. Uh, we've got loads. We've got six deals coming up tonight. Yeah. So three people on the couch, so it's going to be a busy one. Yeah. We're introducing a new presenter as well. Fabulous. But we are taking people to the Far East. We've got some trips around Europe. We've got something a little bit special taking people over to the Rockies. The Rocky on Mountains. the Rockies with our Rocky wow. Mountaineer and our full package of helicopter rides and all this sort of stuff. So it's going to be an, a, a great a great show different prices so yes. hopefully it will suit everyone's budget All prices. and again throughout out the year and next year as well so people can start planning what they I'm want to do so looking forward to running through some of these with you because I want every single one. Every time we do a show, you always want one. But yeah, you but never I, call me to book one. No, but I do want every single holiday. That's the problem. This is the problem. Everyone. Right, now, we have something special. Um, yeah. If people love the races, we've got Goodwood as well, yeah, haven't so we? Yeah, so we've got to do. We don't often feature them on the on the show, but we've got yeah. a Silver Seas uh, yeah. holiday at the end of the cruise. And again, if you book a Silver Sea package with us tonight, book this cruise, um, you've got a chance of winning some tickets to Goodwood, uh, I think, in August. Now, I'm actually going on this uh, race day on the 4th of August, but I I think it's a Tuesday or Wednesday you'll be going with uh, this. And you've got a chance to, uh, to win a couple of tickets to Goodwood if you book the, uh, the Silver Seas package. Now, the three of people have the opportunity to win a pair of tickets for those three people who place their booking. Um, wait till you see, but that's with the uh, Silver Sea deal that's coming up for you later on, at the end, actually. So we'll that's going to make sure you stay with us, isn't it? But what I would say tonight, though, is we've got some good deals. And, and again, the, the team are going to be in the office tonight. They're there till 10.30 tonight. Yep. I'm actually travelling back tonight. I'm going to be back in the office at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. It's a nice early start for me. But, Whoa. you know, the, the team are there. And if, if we've got six deals here and they're not the ones for you then give the guys a call there's plenty yeah. of other cruises check out our website um, and again we've got cruises for one and two days to world cruises to sort all budgets i really think you've got something for everybody I hope so, so we're going to start with the braemar on the fred olsen cruise line aren't we, we? Are. and again fred olsen's not a company that we feature every single week is so no. something a little bit different on this one and again they're smaller ships they're quintessentially british ships uh, entertainment they're on heritage there, ships they really are. aren't they? they are and they're smaller ships as well so you've only got about 900 passengers on there 350, 360 crew. Yeah. So a lot more intimate than some of, of course, the big vessels that we feature now, as well. So this starts with a seven night cruise. Let's just give you a taster of the Braemar. Well, one thing's for sure, you'll never be bored on Braemar. She may be just 24 tonnes, but she's got all of the conveniences and facilities you need to have a really great time. So why not just jump in this wonderful bubbling jacuzzi there? Or if feeling a bit more active, you can have a little swim. Or you could even take a yoga or Pilates class in a brand new fitness centre. That's really good, really state of the art actually. Ah, well, Braemar offers a great choice of bars. And one of my favourites is behind me, the Marquee Pool Bar, which has this lovely canopied area allowing all of this gorgeous sunshine to flood in. Now, other bars include the Morning Light Pub. That's like having your own local on board and great for socialising with friends, both old and new, of course. If you love panoramic views, then I really recommend the Observatory Lounge with its huge windows. And the grand piano there provides the perfect atmosphere for a pre-dinner drink. Braemar has a variety of restaurants. This one is the Grampian. It's one of the slightly more formal and intimate restaurants. There's also the main Thistle restaurant, but both offer a delectable and delicious five-course dinner. Now, for those of you that maybe prefer more relaxed, casual setting, there's Palms Cafe, and that offers a, like a buffet-style service with no set dining times. Braemar always keeps you entertained during the day and also provides you with great and memorable evening entertainment too. Expect every night to be different with a variety of shows, including cabarets, 
dancing, singing, stand-up comedians, special theme nights too, for example, British night and rock and roll. Braemar offers a wide variety of accommodation to suit all different needs and budgets. You might choose a balcony cabin such as this or go for an outside or inside. And for solo passengers, special single accommodation is also available, often at really good prices too. All cabins have interactive televisions, a safe tea and coffee making facilities, and they all have a really nice, warm and homely feel. And if you want to order breakfast or light snacks or drinks, then a complimentary cabin service is also available. Such a hard life that Sean Ryan has. He gets everywhere, doesn't he? He doesn't yeah. even turn up this week, now, he still gets on the telly. Of course, the cruise isn't just a method of getting you to destinations. The cruise is your luxury, your holiday, yeah, isn't and it? And again, every, every cruise ship is different. You know, we feature some of the Royal Caribbeans. They've yeah. got surfing and rock climbing and things like that, yeah. which is great. Now, if you want that, don't book the Braemar. That's not for you. No, it this is, is more a more of a traditional heritage. traditional cruise ship. For, you know, I used to work on a very, very similar ship with another company, and people yeah. just loved it because they felt comfortable, relaxed, being a smaller ship. And again, this is quite a nice introduction for people that maybe haven't cruised before. Yeah. Um, tend to be focused more on adults rather than kid-friendly. So again, if you, you know, want well, that, again, you've got the opportunity to do that. I notice that um, you actually have a single-person travelling option as we well, have, yeah. which and is pretty respectable. Pretty respectable for the, for the cruise as well, but it's a nice introduction. It's a, a Belgium and Dutch waterways yeah. cruise one there. Weather should be reasonably good at that time yep. of year. So, yeah, it's a nice introduction. So, so we'll look at the ports. where are we going? OK, so again, we're going to go from Southampton. Now, wherever we do our Southampton cruises... Love it. You I can take the, all the luggage I can, want. You can, you can. So, basically, <laughs> you have the option there, if you want to, to stay the night before at the Winchester Inn. Yeah. It's £95 pounds per person. And that not only includes your one-night stay and bed and breakfast, but it also includes your transfers to the airport, and more importantly, your parking as well. So well, that it's quite makes good. sense. It's well worth doing so on that. So, we get, we get hotel, we get breakfast, we get parking, we get overnight stay. Day. That'll do. That'll do. That's a start. <laughs> so from there, we're going to make our way over to Antwerp. Now, with this particular cruise, there's a couple of overnights on here, which if people haven't done those before. It's quite nice not to rush around one yes. day. You can stay off the ship. I know your food's included, but it's quite nice to stay off and actually go off and do some things yeah. there and go for dinner, maybe. So here you've got the opportunity in Antwerp to obviously go and experience Central Station, the main square. You can also, from there, go off to Brussels uh, and have a look at uh, some of the uh, the European Parliament. Of course, very, uh, very Isn't hot it? topic at the moment Isn't with Brexit. It? But you've got a chance maybe to well, the last time we'd be welcome over there um, but again when you go around Antwerp Brussels a lot of destinations yeah. to visit here a nice introduction but you've got an overnight there as well and I would suggest maybe staying off and having dinner in the evening on this one yeah from there we move down to Ghent and again beautiful old city here you've got the Gravestein the 12th century cathedral wow. fully fully restored beautiful canals there as well maybe take a, 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 a boat trip along yeah. there as well but stunning views and again you do feel like you're really in the heart of Europe and it's yes. what it's famous for this time of year we'll be getting ready as well for the things like the Christmas market yeah. so getting a bit chilly I wrap up nice and warm but a great opportunity to walk around the the old town of uh, of Ghent there That's so beautiful then we head into Rotterdam another one of the great cities of uh, of Europe and again fabulous just to sort of stroll around you've got maybe even take a bike boat um, a bike trip there you've got the Aranimus bridge which is the famous bridge there in yeah. Rotterdam but again just walking around meandering around taking it at your own leisure plenty of time you've got all day there to do that as it's well. It's almost the law to take a bike trip it is, in yeah. Rotterdam. It is, part of the world, everyone's <laughs> yeah. got the bikes there, so it's definitely worth doing. And then from there into Amsterdam, you've got a full day uh, in Amsterdam, and again, famous for its canals. Yes. You've got a chance to go to the Anne Frank Museum. Of course, hire a bike there, everyone does that. Of course, you can also pop down into the Red Light District. That's what it's famous for down in Amsterdam. And if you've never been uh, window shopping in Amsterdam, it's quite an experience. So I never have. How strange you, is that? It'll make your glasses steam up the knees, I tell you. <laughs> you have to have the wipers on there. <laughs> but uh, it's a really good opportunity to do that. Then a day at sea just to chill out and relax before heading back into Southampton. And that's your cruise. But what an amazing price. Um, you, can, uh, you can actually upgrade to an outside as well for only 735. Now let's say what's included as well. Now this one is great because as I said to you before, you've got overnights on board in Antwerp and Ghent. So this is a nice opportunity to do that. Second of all, look at that, £15 per person per day to upgrade to the all-inclusive drinks package. So You've got to you do don't it. have to be big drinkers, but if you can have a couple of glasses of wine in the evening, it's well worth doing. Yeah. And again, we do recommend have one night at the Holiday in Winchester, £95 per person. Yeah. Includes your breakfast, parking and your port transfers. On now, there. let me give you the ID number for that. If you want to call straight away, go ahead. But the ID number is uh, 116 uh, triple five. And the number, if you want to call straight away, because you want to 
secure your place is 0808 250 2662. That's the number to call. Or you can go straight on to all the w's.planetcruise.co.uk. Now, we are getting really exciting. Um, I can introduce you straight away to um, Craig Upshaw. Such a pleasure to meet Hi, you Denise. because you're a proper rocky mountaineer. <laughs> you're, you've got something very special to offer people. So this is a, a must-do, once-in-a-lifetime, incredible offer that you've put together for everybody. Yeah, well, thank you for having us here. Um, yeah, really delighted to present Rocky Mountaineer um, yeah. to you and your, your viewers um, and go through our itinerary. We've got a fabulous seven-night itinerary including um, two days uh, all daylight yeah um, on board the Rocky Mountaineer and that's um, only part of it and um, let's let's start at the very beginning because to me this is just so exciting first of all you fly to Calgary which is um, an amazing destination in its own right isn't it yeah I mean it's just to the, to the right hand, hand side of the Rockies uh, in the summertime, it's a beautiful destination to go to. Yeah. Um, Calgary Stampede is there during the, the peak summer, uh, but we give our guests uh, the first night just to settle down when they arrive in Calgary, acclimatize uh, themselves before heading off um, on their very exciting coach tour to Banff. And then, of course, we've got a one night stay um, in Banff as well, we have. haven't we? Before we even get to Banff, we've yeah. got a uh, summit helicopter tour, so we have a 12 minute helicopter ride which takes our guests just over the foothills of the Rockies. Seriously? Um, slightly different way of seeing everything. Oh, and this is before you get to the train park. We still. haven't even started on, on the amazing parts yet. So after that, after our BAMP, and we've got one night stay and then the helicopter tour, then we go to Lake we Louise. We go to Lake Louise. So one of the most iconic uh, lakes in the world, the most photographed oh. lakes. Um, so it's a must do stop. We give you an overnight stay. You can go outside, get on the lake, maybe go canoeing if it's the if the lake is thawed at the right time of year. But whatever, that's a beautiful destination and to go I'm to. I'm almost filling up just looking at it. This is something that you want to see and capture that picture actually, in your you mind just, for the rest of your back, life. Haven't you? I have, yeah. I've been very fortunate. I've just come back from the Rockies, um, and Lake Louise is looking as beautiful as ever. Uh, lots of wildlife all, around. Yeah, <laughs> bears galore at the moment. It's okay. fantastic time. So uh, we have got um, a two-night stay, the Lake Louise to Jasper tour. So we transfer to the hotel for two nights. Yeah, and then on the way to Jasper, we include uh, a tour on the Columbia Icefield, which means a, a glacier tour on a, on a big uh, explorer buses up onto the Athabasca Glacier. But so I'll be really warm, unique. won't I? You'll I'll be warm, be, yeah, cool. as long as you've got just, some clothes. Just you know. check it. Lay it up. <laughs> Make sure you lay it up. It's a bit chilly you on there. You can't go skinny dipping again. It's not like that holiday in Benidorm the other week. You've got to, yeah, got to go well, prepared. The last time was in 1969. So, uh, oh my goodness, how beautiful! And then we take you up to Jasper uh, for a two-night stay before uh, embarking on uh, the Rocky Mountaineer. Okay, now then we've got something that um, is something my husband has always wanted to do. He has always wanted to take an amazing train journey. And um, the Rocky Mountaineer is quite simply the most amazing train journey in the world. Yeah, it absolutely is. Yeah, we're, we're the, the best way to experience oh. the Canadian Rockies. Um, and we offer two classes of service. So we have our Silverleaf service, uh, which offers massive, big uh, picture windows with a partial dome. We offer a delightful wow. uh, breakfast See, now, and lunch on board. I actually want straight away to upgrade to Gold Leaf because it's only about £399, but you get such incredible views, don't you? You do. I mean, our, our Gold Leaf product is, sits uh, just over a metre higher than the yeah. Silver Leaf coach that you, you can Ching -ching. see. Bi level dome coaches uh, with the upper level uh, observation floor. Wow. Um, and we have a separate dining room for our gold leaf guests. So you can see the upper level observation, big dome windows, lots of space to move around where we have our allocated seating. And then guests go downstairs for a three course a la carte breakfast and lunch. See, and oh, I like that you can be outside. Open, the open air vessels yeah. you get on the gold leaf, you don't get that with the silver. That's beer. right, yeah. So again, for yeah. Your pictures and photographs, you're not doing it through a window. Absolutely. Yeah. Open air yeah. Air. And that's what you're paying for is, yeah. the, is that access to a, an outdoor viewing platform, your separate dining room where we serve a three-course a la carte breakfast and lunch, and a fully inclusive bar service across 
both classes of service, so you're and well looked after. your hosts look after people and serve them well. They do. We're, we are rated one of the highest service um, products in the travel industry, and our hosts provide ongoing commentary throughout the journey. I, I can't tell you how excited. I could fill up. See, I'm not just saying it. I could fill up just watching. It's amazing. I think, I think the thing is, is with something like this, is, is, you know, everyone says, oh, it's very easy to spend that sort of money, and it's very blase about doing it. But if you're going to book something like this, you know, it's fair enough to take the inside cabin and not yes. take the balcony, but we'll talk about the cabins in a minute on the ship. Yeah. But if you're going to go on the, the silver leaf, it will still be a great experience. Yes. But then you'll see the gold leaf but and you'll think maybe we should have probably It upgraded. isn't much more to do gold leaf. No. When, no. when you actually think of the view and everything that you're going to be able... Because it's, it's an experience that's going to make your heart warm. It's incredible. You'll kick yourself if you didn't do it. I think when so. You, when you get there. For £399, so. it's well worth the, the upgrade cost for what you're so getting. So then we transfer to Vancouver yep. for a one-night stay. And then you transfer to port. Yep. And then we start on our cruise. Then we this is the most <laughs> amazing event of my life, and I haven't even been. <laughs> so basically, we, we're then going to start the, the, the cruise on the um, Holland America New Amsterdam, which yeah. again is a, is a stunning ship. And we had Holland America on a couple of weeks ago. And I think a lot of people feel it's very, it's quite stuffy on Holland America. It's completely not like that at all. It's a fabulous ship. They're very yeah. classical ships, but yes. they're beautiful. Now, the ships themselves are about 2,100 passengers, so they're medium sized yeah. ships now. Uh, 929 crew on there. And again, this one is going to take on the inside side passage so generally that will mean it's a little bit calmer as you yeah. make your way uh, to the various ports of call and again we talked about Alaska over the last few weeks so we won't go into too much detail but as you make your way from Vancouver you're then going to go from there to the inside passage and this is the coastal route for ocean going vessels uh, along a network of passages yeah. which weave through the islands of the Pacific coast and they go from southeast Alaska all the way through to British Columbia in, um, in Canada now, our first main destination is going to be Juneau. Yeah. This is Alaska's remote capital. It's only reachable by boats on this one, or ships, as we like to There's call them. There's still more men than women in Alaska. Um, I don't know. There used to be a lot more men than women in Alaska. Yeah. Sounds like a good place to go. It is. It's good. And that's <laughs> it. But again, when you're there, you need to keep your eye out all throughout the whole trip for the humpback yes. whales. You have the opportunity to go to the Middenhall Glacier, which is stunning. It looks like a lemon meringue pie when yeah. it glistens with the blue on it. It's absolutely beautiful. Then from there, we go to Skagway. Now, Skagway here was the gold rush area. So again, this is a preserved um, uh, town they have there, which was with the Klondike Gold Rush National yeah. Park. You've also got the White Pass and you Yukon route railway cars to uh, to pop on there with a locomotive and again that's another extra train journey on there which is stunning through this part of the world. We then head on to some cruising through the Glacier Bay and this is where you really get the experience of Alaska. This is where you've seen yes. it on the television before. Ice in the water, you've got the crumbling of the glaciers themselves and the snow and it is beautiful and make sure you've got your cameras and your video cameras out through the whole duration and keep your eyes out for obviously bird life and wildlife and marine life while you're there uh, on this particular area. Wow. Then into Ketchikan as well, uh, this is the Native American part of this particular trip, you'll see the totem poles everywhere, uh, famous for its salmon fishing, you've got a lot of the, um, the buildings there on the huts just against the river, but it, again if anyone's done a a fjords cruise in Norway, yeah. it's similar but different, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And this is why I'm saying to you, when you look at the prices on there, we've got a great lead on price on the inside, but when we do Alaska, when we do things maybe of a cruise around New Zealand or a fjords cruise, we always recommend people, if they can push the budget, go for the balcony, well, because see, the last thing you want to be done is inside while you're getting changed for night times and miss out on some of the views outside. This is, this is the thing, I think, because it isn't a huge price jump. It to isn't. actually upgrade to the balcony at all. No, and I think if, if you're gonna if you're gonna take the leap of faith, you're gonna do this particular package. Yeah. In the end, as I said, you may only ever do this once. You may do Alaska once. So you want to get everything, and you don't want to. I hate to say scrimp and save because that's not the case at all, but you want to get the best out of it. But and that's why we're saying gold lifetime. leaf, that's why yeah. we're saying balconies on there as well. That's why we've got our own Canadian... Oh, no, you're not a Mountie. Uh, we've got <laughs> our own <laughs> Rocky Mountaineer with us. Right, inside passage. And then the inside passage, and then obviously heading then back into Vancouver. So it's the round trip on there. And as I said, it is stunning. It is a beautiful trip. Whenever we feature a Rocky, as, as you know, Craig, we always get plenty of phone calls about this and people thinking, should we take the plunge? But we've got multiple days throughout yeah. next year to yes. do this and as I said some great deals on um, well. Deposit is only £600 as well. £600 right. in Now run us through what's included if you will. 
So the Rocky Mountaineer 2018, you've got up to $1,000 in added value per couple on this one. Hotel stays in Calgary, Banff, Lake Louise, Jasper, Canloops, and Vancouver itself. Two days on the Rocky Mountaineer with Yay. a silver leaf service and of course the panoramic helicopter tour, that should be tour. And then of course you can <laughs> upgrade to the gold leaf service there for $3.99. Okay, on. let's give you the price side and some of the very departure dates as well. And you can see that that price jump from inside to outside isn't that big but if you can go for the balcony then go for the balcony that's the way to do it uh, let me give you the ID number your ID number if you want to register your interest straight away your ID number is 149 349 149390. Just the other thing as well, Denise, as well, and Craig, Craig sent us all the details of the whole package that we have there. We've got it on our system. So if anyone phones in tonight and wants a bit more detail on a, like a day-to-day -day running yes. order, we can send that through to the guests and they can literally, we haven't gone through everything in there, but we've just right. picked out some of the highlights, but there's so much to do. Um, yep. Thanks, man. Our Rocky Mountaineer. Thanks, it's Thank been you. a real pleasure. And I'm excited for everybody that I'm sure is already on the phone because to be able to do all of those exciting things on one holiday it's just a, a once in a lifetime amazing event thank you uh, right now let's talk Thompson so now what we've actually got for you now is we've got a seven night Spain and Morocco and Gibraltar uh, Thompson cruise coming up for you so let's just show you what you can expect on your beautiful ship. Okay, so we're looking at Thompson Cruises. Uh, Thompson Cruises are always really, really popular. They've yeah. um, brought in a couple of new ships over the last year, the Thompson Discovery 1 and 2, but Majesty's um, a classic ship. And what we always find with Thompsons is people feel at home when they go on a Thompson well, ship. They they will look after the British cuisine and the things that we like. They won't are they? again they're a British cruise line. So what they say with Thompsons is one, the service and the staff yeah. are exceptional. They've been with Thompsons years and years mm. and again they recognise a lot of the staff when the passengers go back time and time again. Now they've also just won an awards for the size of their ships for the best entertainment at sea. You've got your tips included on this one. Great for adults and families as well. And as I said, if you're not sure what to do, this is just before the school holidays, 18th of July there. Yeah. This is a nice opportunity to take in a bit of sun, see Thompson ships, and as I said, really get looked after. Lots of ports of call that you may have not been to before, but as I said, always very, very popular on Thompson. Right, let's run you through your destinations as well. So as so. I said, a great opportunity to go on here therefore so here we're gonna go now with Thompson's they are the best out there for airports yes. so I think we've based this one on Bournemouth but again we've got regional flights from we've got London, Gatwick, Manchester, Manchester, Manchester yeah and uh, again when you phone in the team can obviously say there's no supplement or there may be a small supplement yeah. they can advise you on that one but they can obviously take you from most British airports and on of course there you're gonna you. get good weather as well aren't you so you're virtually guaranteed exactly. good weather and this is all packaged up with Thompson's as well so the flights will be with them when you get met, met at the airport by the Thompson staff they then transfer you of course to the ship and that's where you'll have your seven night cruise so this one first of all is a sea day now I always like starting with a sea day because you've got you to know, acclimatize especially if you just finished work the day before yeah. you're all a bit all a, you just want to chill out and relax and yeah. again you can do that on, a, on the ship and of course there's a lot to see and a lot to do if you want to as well is. just on the is. ship and it is nice to just ease yourself in to the course the ports of call so we go to where do we sail then we, we go into cadiz so we're going into cadiz to start with to which history. is yeah which is a nice opportunity to start there yeah. um, and again as i said we're going from palma over to cadiz itself into spain and a nice opportunity to go and see a number of the, um, the historic fortress they yeah. have there the castillo to san bastion you've got the fish market you've got the santa maria you can take a boat trip just chill out on the beach you've got plenty of things to do there as i said just to ease you in to your first port of call which is nice then we go on to our next port of call we go into play it again sam we've got the, i wanted uh, to say yeah, that oh, yeah. casablanca casablanca on there. <laughs> i so wanted to say so play it again so sam. we're going off the coast uh, <laughs> off the coast of europe and heading down into morocco and of course yeah. casablanca famous for the film but again nice opportunity to go around there you've got the hassan mosque which yeah. is the huge mosque they have there and also the medina now if you've never been to one of these medinas or souks before they're really really good fun and it's quite good to sometimes go with the locals to take you down to the areas that you have there but I would definitely if it was me I would go to the mosque and do a city tour in the morning yeah. and then go to the medina in the afternoon you can do a bit of um, 
bartering, bartering and haggling and coming back. You know, if you don't like anyone at home, this is the best place to be presents for them because <laughs> you can pick up all sorts of tat in there. But uh, yeah, you can bring do that Bring them back there. a banoose. Bring them back a fez, <laughs> which will look lovely when they're sitting in Weatherspoons the following week. Um, we then head from there to Gibraltar. So we go back to the rock. And, and if you've never been to Gibraltar, oh, I always rock. think it's 1970s England yes. in the sum. Yeah. Uh, you've got the British Bobbies. Of course, you've got the uh, red telephone boxes. Make your way up to the top of the rock, go and see the monkeys, make sure you've got nothing in your pocket there because they'll take everything out of there. But uh, yeah. um, again, uh, Gibraltar, of course, been in the news a lot in the last few weeks yes. as well, but you have the opportunity to go and see the rock. We then head round to Cartagena. Now, I used to have a property just near Cartagena. Um, and again, it's a beautiful city to go into. Along the front, they've got bars and restaurants just to sit yeah. out and chill out. I would make your way into Cartagena itself, walk through the back streets, it's stunning. Or a trip over to the Roman um, Amphitheatre. They've got the Roman remains there, which are really, really interesting. And then from there, down into Valencia, famous Valencia. for its sailing and its yachting. But again, plenty of other things to do. You've got the Central Square, you've got the Cathedral, um, and also Central Market as well. So if you've not had enough shopping in the Medina, you can also go down into the Central Market. But I just want to tell everybody, you get a free upgrade. Yep. You get a free upgrade on this from inside to outside. I'm just letting you know straight away that all your tips and all your service charges are included. Right, we need, we, we go back to Parma, don't we? And that's where you disembark and that's where you have your flight home and as I said it's all completely through Thompson they'll be doing yep. everything for you and it's a nice opportunity to see these places so this one here as we said we've got the free inside to outside upgrade on there we've got a family special family of four from only 2449 and that's based on an outside plus cabin an outside plus is slightly bigger yep. and that's how it can accommodate the four people on there you've got returns flights from London Gatwick Manchester Bristol Bournemouth Liverpool or Humberside and again if it, that's not one for you check the team and they'll have a look what other supplements they have there plus your overseas transfers and your tips included on that okay well. brilliant pricing here as well for everything that you're going to enjoy so you'll get a free upgrade from inside to outside it's one of the reasons why you should call quickly to make sure you can get your free upgrade and you've also got that family of four special on the outside I as can't well stress it enough though with Thompson's they change their prices literally hour to hour so once they start filling up and we will get busy the we price always, goes up price will go up yes yeah. that's, that's that's supply definitely. and demand it's exactly. called isn't it so the sooner you call oh eight oh eight two five zero two double six two or go on to all the w's dot planet cruise dot co dot uk uh, let me give you your id number the id number you want is one one nine six six two one one nine six six two right now we're moving on to celebrity cruises um, this one is 15 nights but this has got a lot a lot going on this I mean is, this is something a little bit special I mean saying it's insane in my ear it's so good well we, we all have our favorites I must admit I I, I do enjoy cele selling celebrity yeah. we want they were top agent for celebrity and um, I was speaking to Ruth the other day about who always comes yeah. on to talk about celebrity and and I must admit I've sold about 10 or 12 spaces on this in the last couple of weeks because this is not just a cruise no. this is also for the Formula One lovers this has got the Grand Prix on it as well yeah. so we're offering a lot of this now we're doing Monaco, Barcelona I think we're doing Shanghai as well but we are obviously doing Abu Dhabi so it's not quite as far to go as like China and places yeah. like that but it's it's far enough but there's so much in this there is and events and things to go to and there trials is. and well let's let talk us through so we fly from Heathrow we fly from London Heathrow uh, to Abu Dhabi we do and also, to be quite honest, again, the guys in the office won't mind me saying this. If you can't do London, we can probably do Manchester flights. Etihad in will be able to do those for yeah. you. But you're going to fly into Abu Dhabi itself, and you've got three nights here. Now, with Abu Dhabi, there is so much to see. It's like a futuristic world if you've never been there. Plus, as well, you've got the mosques, and so you've got that culture as well. Yes. Now, the three days on there, you've got a lot to fit in. So, for example, you've got Ferrari World. You've got um, Yaz Island. On Yaz Island, you've got uh, the world's fastest roller coaster. You've got Yaz Water. World, and of course you've got Warner Brothers but of course the highlight is two of those days you're gonna be at the Grand Prix yeah but I can go shopping can't you I? You can so yeah I sold this to a group of people the other week about four or five ladies booked it with me with their husbands and they said well we're not that into our Grand Prix so I yeah. said well that's fine we can either take the tickets off for you if you wanted to yeah what they're gonna do is they're gonna go shopping on the qualifying day but they're but still gonna go to the Grand Prix because yeah. I said to them the event that they actually had there to say you've been to a Grand Prix is something a bit special yeah and and Abu Dhabi is one of the top ones now also we have staff going out with Planet Cruise as well so we're not gonna be with you the whole time but we're there to help and assist you you and will I be able to 
desperately find a staff member. trying to get on this for the four or five days <laughs> while people are in Abu Dhabi. Whether that's a selling point or not, I don't know, but I might try and get on well, this I one. I think Sean's probably beat you too. Yeah, he probably has. But again, with this one, you've got your three days there, and as I said, on you've got the qualifying tickets and yep. the Grand Prix tickets included. Good grandstand tickets. We did it last year. The guests had a fabulous time. And as I said, you've got the Grand Prix there. Once okay. you've done your three days in Abu Dhabi, we're yeah. then going to move you to the ship itself and we're going to take you to the Celebrity Constellation, which again is one of their flagships and it's a beautiful, beautiful vessel. Now, oh, um, let's have a look at this beautiful flagship, the Celebrity Constellation. Exceptional levels of service. One crew member for every two guests. Well designed and easy to navigate ships and a decor that is both sophisticated and contemporary. This is a cruise line which offers a real sense of modern luxury. Life on board a celebrity cruise ship is an opportunity for you to enjoy your cruise just how you like it. From relaxing by the pool with a good book to a whole host of exhilarating and unique experiences, the choice literally is yours. There's cooking competitions, mixology classes, dance and language classes, informative lectures and behind the scenes access to the inner workings of a modern day cruise ship. And that is just the tip of the iceberg. You can top up your tan while enjoying a margarita by the pool or use your C-Pass card and help yourself to another glass of vino in the award winning Cellar Masters. But my absolute favourite has to be here, it's the world's first ever world-class bar. We're tasting the work of these wonderful mixologists who will introduce you to the latest trends in cocktail creation. It will literally knock your socks off. Celebrity cruises have always pushed the boat out when it comes to dining. Not just in the sheer choice, but also the quality and taste of the food they offer. You can experience savour menus pairing classic and contemporary selections with casual alfresco dining to this stunning main dining room with the amazing wine tower that holds nearly 3,000 bottles of wine. When the sun sets, celebrity cruises ships come alive with a dazzling selection of bars, lounges and nightclubs. Keep an eye out though for the interactive theme parties. You might even find dancers in these exquisite costumes suddenly appear out of nowhere to entertain you. There's West End style theatre shows, there's circus shows, comedy, magic, music. On a celebrity cruise, luxury comes as standard. There are six different varieties to choose from, and over 85% have a private balcony. From comfortable inside staterooms to these gorgeous suites which feature floor to ceiling windows, panoramic balconies, and your very own private butler. Trust me, once you've unpacked, you won't ever want to leave. And my daughters always love the first-class entertainment that you get as well. Yeah, but Celebrity have done it a bit different now. They've invested and brought 18 new shows onto the ships across the board. So wow. they've invested millions. And, and I think, you know, again, guests have their favourite cruise ships. We yeah. know that. So people, you know, go back time and time again. I would definitely say, just from my experience being in the office, people that book Celebrity once go back time and time again and and I speak to a lot of clients that have been with certain companies and I said why don't you try celebrity and once they've done it they're they straight back to now the that wasn't cruise. actually the constellation no, it's was one it, of the sister it's, ships yeah. they have there but you'll see the products on there and they've got so much stuff on there um, and again as I said they are beautiful ships and I, they are five star yeah. they're deluxe and they're beautiful so you start with a relaxing day at sea which is again nice as we mentioned before then we go into Muscat so you're you're starting here with the more cultural side of it coming from Abu Dhabi more futuristic and again this one you've got the opportunity to go to the Grand Mosque the Sultan and Grand Moss is something you definitely need to go and see. It's an experience in itself. It's huge. And as I said, if you've never been to anything like that before, as I said, it, it is amazing. You've also got the National uh, Museum there. You've got the Corniche you can walk along. Yeah. It's a beautiful area in Muscat. And as I said, more traditional in the Middle East than some like but obviously you, Dubai and Abu Dhabi. You step into other world culture. You do. It's yeah. so and you exciting. have to embrace it, as I yeah. said, very, very different if you've not been there before, but, but really, really good. Yeah. Um, then we have a relaxing day at sea. Um, and then from there, we go to a place called Siri Banias Island. Now, if this you've never... This is quite an exclusive island, isn't yes. it? Yes, yeah. So a lot of the ships now have um, islands that they visit. They're very exclusive. They're for the cruise ships themselves. Now, on here, you've got the opportunity to literally have your island here with just the people from the ship as well. Yeah. You've got the wildlife reserve on there. You've got a beautiful opportunity just to wander around. They've got cabanas. It's a resort spa. And you can literally do kayaking, water sports there, swimming, scuba diving, loads and loads of things there. And it's beautiful. And as I said, many people haven't been there before it's something a little bit special 
Then we go into one of the highlights, which is Dubai. So you've got two nights overboard on uh, overboard. That's the wrong thing to say. <laughs> uh, on, on a board, cruise, yeah. Overnights on there for it. Let's move on quickly from that one. Now, of course, in Dubai, this is why it's so good to have the two days because um, you've got so much to see. You've got yeah. Palm Island. I would really strongly recommend doing maybe a desert safari, going on the four by four jeeps, which is stunning. You've got the Burj Khalifa, the uh, tallest building in the world. Mm. They do a trip there called Walk the Clouds, which again you go right up into the clouds in these high buildings. An amazing and amazing views over there. Go to some of the bars, the restaurants. It's stunning Dubai, but you've got two nights there. And then from there, you've got another time in Abu Dhabi. You've got another overnight there as well. So if you didn't do it all when you at the start of the cruise, you've got plenty of time at the end. And I think for a Middle East cruise, yeah. with the Formula One included on this, this is something a little bit special. So this is 15 nights. Uh, don't forget, you've got the Grand Prix qualifying day. You've got the race day. Forgot to mention, you even get invited to the after race concert. So run us through, because this is pretty special, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, so they've got the after, they've got after after um, race concerts, which your tickets would include as well, um, and also access into Ferrari World. Now, the other thing as well, if you upgrade from the inside to the outside, this is worth it. It's £300 yeah. pounds per person more, but you will get the free classic drinks package with this promo if you go Ocean View or above, and yeah. also $300 on board spend to spend whatever you want. Go to the spa, go and shop in on there. So it's definitely worth doing. Return flights are from London Heathrow, but as I said, if we're going into Abu Dhabi or Dubai, we can go from probably on Etihad or Emirates with Manchester. Manchester, Newcastle, Glasgow, we should be able to do that for, and Birmingham as well, we should be able to do that for you. Now, if you have a look at the classic drinks package, people always ask what's included. You've got your speciality coffees and teas, selected beers, spirits, wines and cocktails, wide selection of alcoholic beverages in the speciality bars, and if you want some bottles of wine, you get 15% discount on that as well. Perfect. Uh, now, your ID number here is 125865. 125865. Now, I just want to say a big thank you to Glenn. Uh, Glenn is taking an early bath because... <laughs> <laughs> Was it something I said? <laughs> Get the first round in. Yeah. <laughs> because we're very fortunate. We're going to talk about Riviera travel, and let me say a proper hello. Hello. Lovely to have with us, Paul. Very, very, very good. Much. Thank you. So, Paul, you are a cruise specialist mm -hmm. with Planet Cruise. Correct. Um, now, I am going to tell you straight up that when you see this next offer that Paul's talking about, you need to be quick because have to I mean I just I need to say it again because it's absolutely true uh, you can book on the website 24 7 but you will need to be quick and you will know why when we start talking to you about the Jane Austen uh, this is Riviera travel mm -hmm. and let's just show you Jane Austen so River Cruising is still the, the fastest growing sector of the UK cruise market. Everybody wants to get on board these ships. And the only issue which you've got is they roughly carry round about 90 cabins, 180 passengers which you've got on board. Is that all? Yes, so you really do need to move very, very quickly. Yeah. River Cruising is often described as a city break where your hotel moves from city to city and all you ever have to do is unpack once. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh. The ships are incredibly well appointed. Every cabin which you have has a room with a view and you will see some exquisite sights as you gently sail down the river. Now what I personally love about River Cruising itself is the fact that it's all done at a very slow, gentle and relaxed pace. I like the pace. intimacy of it. Correct. The, the fact that you're experiencing something special but not with 5,000 people. Yes, and that always comes into, uh, into the forefront of your mind, yeah. especially when it comes to disembarking the ship, because literally you walk down the gangway and you are slap bang in the centre of where you actually need yes. to be. Um, and what the great thing is with Riviera Travel is in the ports of call which you go into, excursions are actually included in the price. So you have a choice of excursions which you can go off onto, but you're not herded like cattle. No. It's small, personable, intimate groups. Yeah like you've just rightly mentioned there well, before. It looks, it looks absolutely amazing. Nobody will ever be disappointed with a Riviera travel, will they? Definitely not. The food and the drink which they serve on board is exceptional and it really does reflect the countries and the rivers which you're actually sailing up and down because they don't have big galleys on board so they yeah. have to take on fresh produce every single day which reflects those countries which you're actually sailing through um, and as I say it's open casual dining which you yep. have on board it's not one set table which you go to no. so you can mix and mingle and be as sociable as anti-sociable as you um, want to I like be. the idea as well that you can upgrade your drinks package uh, with 99 pounds and then you'll get 
wine, beer, soft drinks, all free flowing with your meals. That's correct, but that is only for 2018 sailings. Right. But we are talking about 2018 already. Such is the demand to get on these particular river okay. cruise vessels. So it is very, very busy. And we get Wi-Fi and flights and transfers and Correct, yeah. Literally you we have regional flight departures. Yeah. You'll fly over there, you'll be met by a Riviera tra travel representative who will scoop you up, take you down to the ship, look after you as you sail down the river. Nurture you. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Make sure that you really enjoy your river cruise experience when you're on Okay, board. so we fly from Heathrow, London that, Heathrow, and we go to... We're flying into Switzerland. This itinerary, which we've actually got, really does reflect a fantastic starter for 10. If you've never ever river cruised before, this is the itinerary which I would point you to. The Rhine is still the most popular yeah. of all the rivers that we, we sail on. So we start off in Lucerne, the land of cuckoo clocks. The scenery there which you have is stunning. I think I had the world's biggest, largest chocolate cupcake chocolate when box. I was there. <laughs> it was absolutely stunning. Proper chocolate box scenery which yeah. you have. Um, the ship will then spend a few uh, a few hours in there and then she makes her way up the river um, as she pulls into a beautiful port of call which is called Breisch. Now as I said before, remember you have all of your tours, your excursions which are included. Yes. There's a very brief and formal briefing every night prior to, before you go down to dinner yeah. where the tours manager will tell you all about what you can expect the following day, where to meet for your tours. Yeah. And sometimes on river cruising you'll get more than one port of call in one day. You just see so much. You do. And you wouldn't necessarily think of going to Brish, but you get to see and experience some amazing beauty. Well, let's not not forget we've started off in Switzerland we've then made our way to Breach in Germany yeah then we're crossing over the border into Strasbourg and Strasbourg the river itself actually forms the border between France and Germany wow. so you're getting the bo the best of both worlds remember this is in the Alsace region which you have wine so wine there we wine. are <laughs> I found the level <laughs> First program I've been on and I found the level straight away. But there is some fantastic tours and as I said before, uh, they will look after you when you're on board. Um, and also what one thing I will mention as well, the single passengers who travel on these as well are also well taken care of Lovely. on board the ships itself. Okay. So making our way from Strasbourg, we're then sailing through UNESCO World Heritage Scenery as we make our way up to Spare. Um, we're slowly heading up towards the Rhine Gorge, but yeah. the scenery here is absolutely fantastic. And this is when we, those passengers who've booked one of the French balconies or the suites, it really does come into its own because you can sit back, relax, and catch up on some of your Kindle reading, yeah. update your social media page, open the window right out, and you'll let the fresh air sit, uh, come into your cabin, and you'll be able to see all of this scenery. I recommend the French balcony for everybody. Definitely. But that's why you actually have to book early as well, to make sure that you get what you want. Without a doubt. Well, yeah. well Riviera always have a loyal brigade of people who book with them year after year, yeah. and more and more people are coming aware of Riviera travel and river cruising in the UK itself. Um, so leaving Speyer, we then make our way up to my own personal favourite of all of the ports of call that we go into, which is Rudersheim, which is nestled in on the banks of the Rhine. Um, here, one of the main things everybody heads off to is the Drosselgas. Um, the best way I could describe it, it's like Harry Potter's Diagon Alley, these beautiful oh. timber-clad buildings which all try to reach in to touch one another at the top. Um, and the main thing that I would always recommend there is one of the Rudersheim's coffees. It's a coffee which is laced with the local brandy. Absolutely. Absolutely See, fantastic. now you've made me want one already. Yeah. And then we go to Koblenz. Now, Koblenz, again, this is a beautiful port of call. Remember where the ship docks. It's slap bang in the centre of where you need to be. Yeah. So there's no need to muster for tenders. There's no need to wait for the tours. You walk down the gangway and you see the city of Koblenz right in front of you. Before you've arrived there, you've seen these beautiful Hanseatic castles which are perched up on the top, which look down onto these vineyards which sweep right the way down to the banks of the Rhine itself. A fantastic way to bring it all to a close in Cubans. Now, um, if you actually don't want to fly from Heathrow, then there is a Eurostar option available, which would give you a supplement. But I'm sure you can see why Riviera Travel is so, so popular. Let's just give you what's actually included in your beautiful seven-night cruise on the Jane Austen. 
So, um, as I mentioned before, you're going to be on a full board basis when you're on board the ship. So that is your breakfast, your lunch, your evening meal, afternoon tea, elevensies, uh, midnight snacks are also available. And don't forget, you can upgrade your drinks package for £99 per person, but that is only for 2018 sailings. Uh, we've got return flights back and forwards from London Heathrow, plus yeah. all of the overseas transfers. For those people who don't want to run the gauntlet of going through the UK airports, you can always go by Eurostar and let the train take the strain. And also as a way of saying thank you from ourselves, um, we're also given a free Kindle for every single booking which we wow. have. Right, let's throw in the pricing as well. And you can see why you've got, obviously, everybody has a river view, everybody. But look at the French balcony difference. So it, there's not so many of the French balcony available and you want the full majestic experience. Right, um, so let me give you the ID number really quickly. The ID number is 142786. Now, if you're not... If you're not yet um, a river cruiser, but you look at them and you think, you know, I think you, I might like that, we do have, thanks to Planet Cruise, Planet Cruise are holding an event for you. Um, this is an afternoon with scenic luxury cruises and tours. Now, it's at the Chichester Harbour Hotel in West Sussex. Um, it's from 2 o'clock up until 4 o'clock on June the 1st. And it will answer every single question that you might ever have about river cruises. So go along and just learn a little bit more as well. Now, what I want to talk about next is ultra, ultra luxury. I want to talk about six stars. I know, and they let me talk about it as well. <laughs> this Crumbs. is amazing. So we're talking about Silver Sea Cruises, aren't we? That, that's correct. Now, for those who have never heard of Silver Seas before, um, the ships are absolutely stunning. We're go going from small river cruise ships to small ocean cruise ships. So it's still not a, a, a big with thousands and thousands of people, is it? No, sh the, the, the Silver Shadow, which we're just about to talk about, she only carries 382 passengers. And it's ultra, ultra luxurious. Right, so uh, let we fly from Gatwick. Yeah, so we're flying from the UK and I think what the real nice thing that we like about this particular cruise is that it's all done at a very slow, gentle and relaxed pace. So you get to experience properly. Correct. You're not being chivied from one place to another. And again, we're talking about not en masse as well. Yeah. So you have that attentive service, that one-to-one -one service. So we fly into Hong Kong and here we put you up in a fine star hotel Thanks. located slap bang in the center of Hong Kong itself <sighs> now this is a holiday in itself the destination of Hong Kong for those of you who've never been before it really is an absolute assault on the senses and what's more you've got three days to appreciate possibly do a junk ride around the Bay of yeah. Hong Kong go up to Victoria Peaks um, or do a spot of shopping Jade Absolutely. Market the Jade Market and the Midnight Market as well yeah. uh, it really does one thing I will say is make sure that your camera's got plenty of memory space on it because you are going to get very snap happy out and about around in Hong Kong. So we've got three nights. Three nights to appreciate all that this port of call has to offer. Yeah. After which we'll then have a private executive transfer which will pick you up from your hotel and then it's going to take you down for your cruise which is a nine night cruise on the Silver Shadow. Okay, let's have a let's have a look at this. Now, it said on the screen that um, the Silver Sea Cruises have eight beautiful ships, don't that, they? Well, they've actually, such as the demand for them, they've actually just launched another ship, which is the Silver Muse, which takes their fleet up to a grand total of nine ships, mm. but none of them have left, le left behind the exemplary service, which you will expect when you get on board. Spacious suites, roundabout 85% of them have private verandas, they have butler service, oh, I want um, it. extraordinary service, exquisite dining which we'll find on board. Yeah. Literally once you get on board the ship you leave the rest of the world behind, all your cares, your worries, everything is included. Okay. So we set sail from Hong Kong and then we make our way to Halong Bay. Now again another UNESCO In World Vietnam. Heritage Site. Yes, we've made our way into Vietnam. Now this is absolutely stunning and you remember what I said we're not doing this at a rush pace no. because we're going to spend an overnight in Halong Bay. 
Um, how long Bay is um, it's been famous for the likes of James Bond. Uh, Tomorrow Never Dies was yeah. actually filmed um, on location there. And again, a fantastic opportunity to go off and explore. If you want to do something unique and bespoke, by all means, give us a call. We have access to all sorts of excursions which we can put together to, for you, which are often a considerable saving to those which are actually offered on board the ship itself. Okay, so that's how long Bay in Vietnam. Uh, and then we go to, is it Da Nang? Da, da Nang. So we're still staying in Vietnam. Yeah. And again, this is everything that you would expect from Vietnam. Um, some of the coastal scenery which you will actually see there, you half expect that Apache helicopters to go flying <laughs> across the, 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 the horizon. It is absolutely stunning. I would recommend you go off to some of the uh, temples which they have there. Um, the local pagodas. The pagodas. Yes. Um, the <gasps> local market as Look. well. You will see everybody around on bicycles. Um, and they're all wearing the conical Japanese yeah. hats there as well. Conical, not comical. Conical. <laughs> Cool. hats which we have there um, and again you have a day in Da Nang so after all of that you really do need to catch your breath and appreciate everything that I need we've the talked butler. about. Yes, I the, need the butler to look after me. He is waiting <laughs> on standby with your favourite tipple so you yeah. have a day at sea to appreciate all that Silver Shadow has to offer wow. uh, before we arrive into Ho Chi Minh City. Um, formerly known as Saigon. Yes. Um, which, which some people More may wonderful to. temples and pagodas and sightseeing. Plenty for you to see yeah. and plenty for you to do. And what's more, you have that overnight in port. So you're not rushed. You're not part of the herd. That we give you that attentive service when you're actually in that particular port of call. So then we have one more day at sea and then we go to Singapore. We're into Singapore. So what we're actually talking about this evening is after when we arrive back into Singapore, it's time to fly home. But I don't want to fly home yet. That's not a problem for okay. us at Planet Cruise. Okay. We can build something bespoke, especially when you've travelled all the way to the other side of yeah. the planet. You may as well appreciate all that Singapore has to offer. Yeah. So speak to any of the team and they will add on that bespoke package for you at the end. Right, let's show you what's actually included. Uh, so what we've got. So we arrive into Hong Kong. We have three nights stay in a five-star hotel. Um, and then also included, just to get your bearings, we give you a deluxe Hong Kong island tour that's Ooh. done at the beginning of your stay it just gives you an idea an opportunity to get your bearings um, after which we've got the cruise that we've just described and then we disembark in Singapore at the end um, and don't forget we have the opportunity to add that on at the tail end if you want to stay a little bit longer now as a way of saying thank you for your booking with us this evening with Planet Cruise now would recommend you book early again just purely down to the fact that the Silver Shadow only carries 382 passengers we will give you a free Fortnum and Mason champagne and chocolate gift set thank you and also for the first three bookings made on this deal they will receive a pair of tickets to the glorious Goodwood oh, Festival. Oh, wow. Okay. So, um, now, um, now what we've got to do is make sure that you understand it's only for the first three people that book that get the chance to get a pair each of the tickets for Goodwood as well. Uh, now, we will get um, luxury service all the while you're there. Don't forget you've got the butler on your cruise as well. But Let's show you a welcome to luxury that you get as well from Her Majesty's Grocer. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> um, Fortnum and Mason champagne and chocolates gift box. So um, the ID number uh, for this is 145. 336, 145336. Now, um, I know that what we've talked about this evening is wonderful, it's must-have, it's six-star luxury, it's an experience of a lifetime, but it's for, we have things for everybody from Planet Cruise. They look after all of our viewers. And next week, it's the Thompson takeover, yes, isn't it? Yes, right. we're, we're massive with Thompsons. A yeah. lot of the, river, um, the ocean cruise operators and the river cruise operators, we're one of their number one accounts, so they come to us. So we're very, very lucky to be presenting all of these deals and offers to you next week. Let's give you an idea of the Thompson takeover. Breaking news. On the 23rd of May, live on Ideal World at 8 o'clock, the Planet Cruise TV show is being taken over by Thompson Cruises, which means loads of great bargains from your favourite British cruise line, along with exclusive footage of our filming trip on board the Tui Discovery, where as you can see, I'm currently doing my Gibraltar's Ape impersonation. <laughs> Going well.
Right, so I want to give you a recap on everything that you've seen so far. Now, we started with the Heritage Coups, which is the Fred Olsen Braemar. Uh, this is what's included, and your ID number is 116555. 116555. Um, you can upgrade to all inclusive for just £15 per person per night. Add one night if you wish at the Holiday Inn in Winchester. That's only £95 per person. And that includes your breakfast and of course your parking and your port transfers as well. And of course because you're sailing from Southampton you can take as much luggage as you want. Uh, now let's talk about the Holland America as well. So this one remember is your amazing experience. So it's 15 nights with the Rocky Mountaineer, it's um, Calgary, it's helicopter tours, it's Banff, it's lakes, it is that Rocky Mountain train, it's just the most amazing and of course then you get your cruise. Now your ID number here is 149390, 149390. Next we saw the Thompson Cruise. Uh, the Thompson Cruise is coming up for you right now. Seven nights, Morocco and Gibraltar. Uh, 119662 is your ID number. Free upgrade from inside to outside. Amazing prices. There's a family special available for a family of four. And that's based on an outside plus cabin as well. And flights available from most UK airports. There might be some supplements. Right, let's move on to the Celebrity Cruise now. Now, this is on board the Constellation. This is flagship cruising. This is the F1 Grand Prix. This one is an amazing cruise as well. Now, um, this has got the ID number, which is 125865. 125865. Now, let's go to the Riviera. See, I'm so liking the idea of this. Uh, this is the Seven Night Rhine Cruise, starting from Switzerland. ID number is 142786. 142786. Intimate, exclusive, and incredible. And we finished on the most incredible luxury experience. Uh, this is the 14 nights, six star Asia cruising with the Hong Kong stay. Your ID number here is 145336, 145336. Um, just sitting with Planet Cruise, I feel as though I've had the most amazing holiday. You look after people so well. Thank you very Thank much. You Thank so you so much. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for being with us here on Ideal World.